Salutations, my name is JC Servant. I'm an artist on a comic called Wildlight. I'm a coordinator on a website called SaturdayLightComics.com, and as you can kind of see from, from my background, I'm an avid uh, game fan. Uh, today, I want to take some time out, as I like to do from time to time, to talk about current day events and whatnot. Before I get started with that, I would like to point out that if you have comments, please leave them below. I do read them, and hopefully you, you learn something from watching this video. Maybe, maybe not. And, and I'll learn something by reading your comments. You can all, alternatively, you can always write me an email. My email uh, address will be on the box on the side. You can also write me on Instant Messenger if you want to have a conversation or you want to ask further questions or something totally different. I do like to take questions a lot. Uh, if you want, if you're looking for for answers about life or the Bible or anything else, I'm not a super scholar. I haven't gone through Bible seminary school or anything like that. Um, I believe I've got a training that's actually better than that. It's called just walking with God for a while. Been a Christian now for about two decades. So I love to talk about God. I love to answer questions. I may not have the most politically correct answer or the deepest research answer or whatnot, but uh, I will speak to you from my heart and I will speak to you with the experience that I have as limited as it is. One of the things I want to talk about today is Michael Jackson. You're seeing it all over the news. Uh, the pop star has passed away at the age of 50. And it's interesting because as you watch the, the news coverage and, and whatnot, and I, granted, I haven't really watched a whole lot. I don't watch a lot of TV. But as you do watch it, and they're talking about his life, and as they turn to the more tragic uh, things that have been going on with him for the last few years or decade or whatnot since, since he stopped singing, it seems interesting because nowadays, the, uh, well, now that he's passed away, I should say, he seems to be blaming it a lot on society. They'll sit there and say, uh, you know, it's sad that society has kind of forced him to do this. And they'll say that in so many words. And, and granted, when someone's dead, it's not really the appropriate, when someone's just passed away, it's really not the appropriate time to, you know, say, well, this guy did all these bad things and it's his fault, uh, and what have you. But it is interesting how just a few months, a year ago or whatever have you, as some of these things were coming to service that he was doing, uh, it was very clear that they were dogging him, so to speak, and now they're saying it's society's fault. The Bible makes it very clear that we are each responsible for our own actions. No one's going to be able to stand in front of God get it, when he goes over what they've done in their life and be able to say, you know what, God, it was society's fault. You know? There are countries uh, that have a lot of lot more stress and pressures to do the wrong thing uh, than America does, and uh, for uh, you know some of those third world countries, uh, simply saying you're a Christian or being you're a, being a Christian can get you thrown in prison, tortured, or even killed. Uh, Jesus is the prime example of this, just by going around doing what was right, standing up for people, and what have you. He got himself a, a right to the cross. So, uh, doing the right thing, there's always a cost, there's always a, a pain to be done. Here in America, where we have the freedom of speech and, and whatever have you, uh, chances are, if you stand up for God and you stand up for what's right, you're not going to go to an electric chair for it. You may get ridiculed. You will certainly come under fire by your peers and those around you, some of your friends and your family members. I've had that happen to me before. But you're not going to be getting tortured or thrown in jail or whatever have you. There really is no excuse, especially here in America, to sit there and blame stuff on society. Do the right thing. Serve God with your whole heart. And don't make excuses for why you're not doing it. With, uh, with that being said, um, what you saw in Michael's life, especially after he stopped doing his music and started engaging in activities that were certainly questionable, uh, it's something that you see in a lot of stars' lives. Uh, as they get to the top of their career and they become rich and famous, uh, and a lot of times you see this with these CEOs and, and what have you, they become rich and famous that they lose their sense of morality and they start engaging in questionable practices or very immoral practices uh, and whatnot. The Bible teaches us time and time again, we all know this in our hearts, that, that there's, a, there's, a, there's, there's a need for God in our lives. It's, it's a need just like there's a need for, any, uh, for, for food or for water or for air. 
and in our stubbornness and unwillingness to follow God, we try to fill that hole up with the things of this world, whether it's money or, or whatever have you. Michael tried to fill it up a lot of times by just being the best way he could do. You see, uh, that's called perfectionism, and there's a number of people who have that tendency to want everything to be absolutely perfect so they can rise above, or just because they're maniacal about perfection. But it usually stems from the fact that they don't feel all that great about themselves, and this is how they, they, they try to fill that particular void in their life. And it's quite sad. And perfectionism usually does a very good job of affecting those around you. If you've ever had any perfectionist relatives and whatnot, it can be pretty scary. Um, but regardless, whether you search for God in your own quote-unquote perfectionism, and of course the Bible says none of us are perfect, we all do uh, bad things that we're going to be judged for, but whether you search for, for, for your fulfillment in life from perfectionism, from being the master of your art like Michael Jackson, just pushing yourself on your talent, or through money, or through fame, the end result is you're going to be mighty, mighty empty. And that's why so many stars get divorced. That's why so many stars have so many problems with their lives. CEOs are, are you know, not happy with making millions, so they start stealing more money from their companies and end up in jail uh, when they get caught. So there's, there's something to be said about all that. It's really important in our lives um, that we seek God and we, we, we ask Him to come into our heart and we have a relationship with Him. Because we all have weaknesses. We all have done really bad things in our lives. I've done really bad things in my life. And it's, it's important that we do have that forgiveness from God so that we can move forward with a clear conscience, get direction in our lives from Him, and be able to seek that out without feeling that that's, that, that goal, is, that that direction is a goal in and of itself. That, 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 that we're all the time trying to seek our life fulfillment from. It's a little convoluted, but, uh, and I apologize. Anywho, so I hope that kind of gives my, my idea on Michael Jackson. I really did like him as a singer, especially back in the 80s. I had a whole bunch of records and whatnot. Um, but I, I hope that if we learn anything from, from Michael's life, is that there, that perfection in one's calling in life, or talent, or whatnot, unfortunately doesn't bring us the fulfillment that we have in our hearts. It doesn't fill that need in our hearts. Only a relationship with God will do that. And if you have any questions or anything, leave some comments below, write me an email, or look me up on MSN Messenger. And I will be taking, if, uh, I will be taking some of those questions and replying back to them here on YouTube. So if you got some hard-hitting questions or whatever, send them on in. Got probably a good chance right now that your question will be pulled and I'll answer it uh, here on YouTube. Thank you very much and God bless.